stand for the pledge. <coughs> Agenda item 4.0, are there any adjustments to the agenda? Um, there's one adjustment to the agenda, 5.0, a motion to go in executive session pursuant to 1 MRSA, section 4056A, for, discussing, for discussions concerning a personnel issue to return to public session. Um, so moved. Second. Any discussion? Can I have a, um, do I have a vote? All in favor? Oops, was that a four, four zero? Mm -hmm. Oh, and then I guess, so we're adjourned. Yep, so we're adjourned. We will return to public session.
engage in any <coughs> cheering or clapping out of respect for varying points of view. If there's anyone um, that would like to speak, you can come to the podium. Matt Scyther, uh, 14 Huntley Drive. Um, I just want to talk, obviously, about the high school uh, interim principal. Um, the board and superintendent are facing a lot of challenges, I think, um, a lot of problems. And um, I think there's a huge opportunity tonight to turn this community around. Um, the uh, So the students lost a, a principal that they largely respect and admire. Um, and we found out last week that um, he's being replaced by nobody. Um, and we find out today that, that uh, there's going to be a temporary placeholder, which I can't imagine is in their best interest. Um, <clears throat> additionally, the staff has lost confidence and trust in the board and the superintendent. Um, I heard at the faculty meeting last week, um, a lot of them were in tears. They are devastated and need some kind of olive branch from the board. And the community has been in turmoil for months. Um, it would be nice to see all of this end uh, rather than continue. I think the solution is obvious. I think. Um, literally thousands of Scarborough residents think the solution is obvious. Um, and I hope that, that you can uh, put personal feelings aside and do what's best for the community. Um, do what's best for the staff and the students. Um, it, would, it would finally allow this community to breathe a giant collective sigh of relief and move forward together. The board, the superintendent, the principal, the staff, the community, you know what needs to be done that we could all unite and move together. Like no more fighting. Um, I won't say his name because I'm not supposed to say names. Um, but you have, you have an opportunity to regain the community's trust tonight. And I really hope you do. Thank you. Renee Richardson, 93 South Point Drive and room F109 Scarborough High School. Um, I'm here tonight because I'm one of the teachers at the high school. Um, it's been pretty tough, as I'm sure it has been for each and every one of you. Um, never seen anything quite like this in my teaching career. Um, and now I, I feel that there's a ray of hope that what I've spoken several other times before, that when cooler heads prevail, we may actually find a way to compromise and work with each other. Even though sometimes emotions get the better of us, I, I know I have shed tears and screamed screams um, in things that happen in my work with my students in my program, not at the students, but maybe at some other adults or at myself. Um, it's because we're each and every one of us passionate and caring about what we do. And sometimes when, when we get to that extreme emotional point, it's very hard to step back and say, I can take a breath here, I can, I can maybe try for a new start or a new viewpoint and work things through. Um, I, I tell you, I was pretty, um, pretty sad to leave school this year feeling like I had no reason to want to come back in the fall um, because I, I was coming back to some still really very negative feelings. I'm once again hopeful, um, hoping to for the best and a positive outcome from everybody on all sides of the every issue that we face and that we can just work together. And um, that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name's Ruth Hughes, and I live at 27 High Point Road. 
I'm speaking tonight on my concerns that there were no qualified candidates for high school principal that now you're seeking to find an interim principal for one year. I had two students at the high school last year. Um, one was a class officer, a senior officer, and unfortunately spent the second half of his senior year tangled up in this mess. Um, in the past, I've supported many controversial policies um, that have been put forth by the school board and the superintendent. I sent many emails pleading to show leadership, to find a resolution so that this town could move forward and heal and the fighting could stop. For those that did respond to me, I heard over and over, you know, please know that we have our students' best interests at heart, and I truly believe that or you wouldn't be doing what you're doing. But honestly, I am starting to lose faith. Um, my daughter um, is going into her junior year next year, and I am truly concerned that we don't have a candidate, a qualified candidate, to, to be the principal of the school. If you truly do have the best interests of the students at heart, please do what is right by them. Give them their principal back. And to quote my son, who unfortunately was quoted too often, why fix something that isn't broken? Thank you. Thank you. Hi, good evening. David Cleary, 33, Meeting House Road. Every time I've come to this podium, I don't know if we want to reset this, it's at a minute and 20 seconds, so I don't know who's in control of the clock. I am, okay. but I'm not very well. <laughs> That's cool. That's all right. I can wait. Thank you. Thank you, Hillary. Um, I, uh, I normally come to this podium with prepared remarks that I spend considerable time hours writing, researching, rehearsing. Uh, I'm here tonight with no prepared remarks, really, to just speak to you, um, citizen to citizen. Um, echoing some of the comments that have been made tonight, you know, this board always references children's interests come first. I have never seen anything in a community like children, young adults, advocating for their wishes to be absolutely ignored by the first mandate of this board. These kids know who their principal is and who that principal should be. And the only thing standing in the way between their interests coming first is this board. So do the right thing and serve that first mandate. I'm looking at your operating protocols on the first page of your website. It is the first sentence of the first protocol. Children's interests come first. And unless you can demonstrate that there is some egregious reason other than insubordination or some other reason that is a personnel issue that has nothing to do with the children's interests, but rather with positions of power, then you need to follow your rules your own missions. Follow the chain of command. The last stop, not the first, will be the board. You are the last stop. You are the ones in control. Do the right thing. Utilize CEO input. The superintendent is the chief executive officer Item number eight, in any organization with a CEO, they will tell you the buck stops with them. And when things go wrong, they are the first stop and the last stop. And you are the overseeing entity to ensure that that individual is held accountable. You have an individual whose career is at stake and a clock is ticking. You're 0 for 19 with candidates that have been for, put forth for the principal position. And you have one that should never even be in the position that he's in. So do the right thing. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, 
seeing no further comments, we'll close public comment. Uh, agenda item 7.0, new business. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yep, yeah, 7.0, and then 7.1, high school interim principal. Based on the recommendations of the hiring committee and after consulting with our school district attorney, I am reassigning assistant principal Susan Ketch to serve in the position created by a resignation. Ms. Ketch received both her Bachelor of Science degree in music education and her Master's of educational lead in Educational Leadership from the University of Southern Maine. She was first hired as a music and theater teacher at both Scarborough's Middle School and High School in 1984. After three years, she was also assigned to the position of lead teacher for the K-12 Fine Arts Department. In 1992, Ms. Ketch became what was titled an associate principal of Scarborough High School. And then in 1997, Sue took on two new roles, the alternative education director for the high school as well as assistant principal. Ms. Ketch has been instrumental and has been instrumental during her tenure at the high school in ensuring that all students are able to be supported and successful. She has assisted in the smooth transitions of many new administrators at the high school, including principals, assistant principals, athletic directors, and other, and other primary positions. She is always empathetic and compassionate, and staff, students, families, and administrators respect and admire her caring and professional attitude. The recommendation is to reassign the high school principal duties to Susan Ketch for the upcoming school year. So move. Do I have a second? You should all be ashamed of yourselves. I think this is a wise move. I think that Sue Ketch has the leadership ability to lead our school and our children. I think she has the educational background and credentials and has proven her leadership, her creativity, and her concern, as well as her concern for this community. I am proud that she will accept this interim position. Any other comments? Before oh, you vote, I, Sue Ketch has prepared oh, okay. some remarks. If Sue, yeah. you would mind coming to the podium for us? Oops, I wanted to make a comment though. Oh, really. oh if that, that's, that's okay. I just wanted to say how much I appreciate the professionalism of Sue Ketch. Um, I've had two children at high school, one just graduated, and I know what she, <coughs> what she creates at the high school and what she gives to the kids and her relationships with the, with the kids there. And um, having been involved with the graduation activities, I know that's a huge endeavor which um, is part of a, a, a team effort and I know that she was instrumental in, in creating that um, great experience that I think all the seniors and, and all of their families had. So, so I've, I've seen firsthand her work and, and I welcome her. So, are we going to vote? Oh, oh is she going to speak first? Comments. Okay. Good evening, and thank you very much for putting your confidence in me. I've been thinking a lot about this um, over the weekend, and um, what I really have been thinking about a lot is um, believing. And um, I think that in the summer of 1984 when I signed a contract for $12,060, which seemed like <laughs> um, an amazing amount of money to me, um, I believed in the possibilities. And um, I believed in the community when about 25 years ago this summer, my parents helped me buy a piece of property here to build a home in this town. And I believed in the community. <laughs> I believe in the students, no question. They're amazing in every way. Students that I've had in the past and students that I have today. I'm, um, I believe in the faculty, um, the staff, whether they're bringing students to school safely, feeding them, taking care of their health, their well-being, or educating them in classes. I believe in everyone and the hard work they do. I believe in the administrative team that I am so lucky to work with 
and um, the, all the things they give um, and give and give to make sure things work really well for our schools. I believe in the central office staff and all they do to dedicate um, their efforts to the, what's best for our students. And I believe in the community. I, um, I have been here a long time. I have had the privilege of working with many wonderful people. And I hope this year will be a continuation of that work. So I just want to thank you for putting your faith in me. I'll give it my best. We thank, know that. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so if we're ready to vote, all those in favor? Four and zero. Thank you, Sue, and congratulations. Yes. Thank you. Um, agenda item 7.0, motion to go in executive session pursuant to 1 MRSA 40560 for discussions concerning the superintendent's contract slash evaluation, not to return to public session. So moved. Second. All those in favor? 4 0. Motion to adjourn. Uh, motion to adjourn. Second. Oh, I'm sorry, motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All those in favor? 4 0. We didn't have to do that.